Hi, I'm Emily Blake and you're watching Feel Good Fix, your new weekly show where we'll be bringing you the most positive stories from all around the globe and you never know, some might be a little bit closer to home as well. So get yourself comfortable, grab a cup of tea and join us as we look at some of these wonderful stories around the world. Now we're going to start off in Wales, where the goats have reclaimed their land. They have got themselves really comfortable moving into neighbourhoods and strolling through the seaside towns, and they look really cute too. You can see lots of pictures and videos over on our Instagram page. They're so cute. Bless the little goats, and uh, they really look like they're enjoying their their time away from us. <laughs> now, in Norfolk, the same thing's happening, but with deers, they're actually getting themselves into people's gardens, so could be causing a little bit more mischief. Let us know if any animals are trying to reclaim back the land where you live, and do send us some pictures, we'd love to see them as well. Now, the NHS, as you know, are doing an incredible job. The staff are fantastic, whether it's a cleaner, a nurse, a doctor, an assistant, whoever is working in the NHS at the moment, we love you so much. And to show our gratitude, we lit up the Shard, the tallest building in the UK last night, turned it blue to say thank you. And people got out on their doorsteps last night too, giving a big round of applause for everyone working in the NHS. And it was also a big round of applause to our key workers as well. So just know that key workers are not being forgotten and it's really lovely to see the support up and down the country. Now talking about support for key workers, we've also got lots of children at home doing uh, little pictures of rainbows and we can see those in the windows and it's wishing that people stay safe during this time and it's really lovely so if you're out on your one bit of exercise uh, look out for these pictures in people's windows another thing that you might notice in some of the windows on your one day walks one once a day walks um, are some little teddy bears that are popping up as well and the idea of this is to provide a teddy bear hunt when people are out walking with their children um, so I've got my little teddy bear I just happened to have one hanging around um, I've got him up in the window so that it can provide a bit of entertainment um, for children out on their daily walks as well so you might want to get yourself involved with that now up and down the country there are little acts of kindness going on and it's really beautiful to see. And the one that caught my eye this week is a man called Mike and he's actually completing a marathon in his back garden. Yes, um, he doesn't have a huge back garden like me. So uh, as I don't have a huge back garden, I mean, mine's really tiny as well. So he's going up and down and up and down and it's going to take him quite a while. Um, I'm dizzy just watching the videos. Um, so you can check him out and you can support and donate to the amazing charity that he is giving to as well. But yes, a marathon. I mean, I jogged around a field yesterday and um, just, just the once and that was enough for me. So well done Mike, you're doing a fantastic job. Now guys, I hope you enjoyed those stories. I have now got a book recommendation for you. My book of the week is Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway. This is an absolutely incredible book and I'm just absolutely hooked to every page. I'm about halfway through um, I don't want to put it down. It's inspiring. It makes you want to get up and do all the things that you have been afraid to do for so long. So please get yourself this book. Feel the fear and do it anyway. It doesn't sort of go back and assess why you're scared of things. It's not unpicking your um, history and things that have happened to you. It's just accepting that in fact every new situation we find ourselves in it's going to be scary. And it's the acceptance of that and it's going for it anyway. That's what the book's all about and I couldn't recommend it anymore. Um, it's absolutely brilliant. You can get it in audiobook or classic book format, whichever suits you. 
So guys, that's about it from me today. Please make your way over to our Instagram page where you can find pictures of the gorgeous little goats that I mentioned at the start of the video. And of course, send me your pictures of any animals you've got that are enjoying the freedom um, whilst we're all inside. Been really great, guys. I'll see you next Friday for some more. Bye-bye.